Hello everyone! Good morning! Welcome to Let's Do Research with Dr. S. This is Dr. Sara Namoko and I am your partner in your research journey. In this video, we shall be discussing about the different data collection methods in a, in a survey research design. We may ask, what is data collection? By definition, data collection is the process of gathering and measuring information on variables of interest in an established a systematic fashion. Take note, friends. You just don't collect data in any way that you want. You have to do it systematically. You have to plan your data collection method. Why? What is the purpose of doing data collection? Because you want to answer the stated research questions of your study or you want to test the hypothesis and later on evaluate the outcomes of your study. There are basic ways of collecting data in survey re research. One is the direct administration of surveys to respondents. Number two is by web-based survey. Another one is by mails, by telephones, or by interviews. We are going to discuss each of these later on. Now let's talk about the direct administration of the survey to a group or to the respondents. This method is used whenever you as a researcher has access to all or most of the members of a particular group at the same time in one place. The advantage of directly administering the survey to, the, to your respondent is that you will have a high response rate. Of course, it will save you money and time. And then you as the researcher has the opportunity to explain what is the study about? And you also have the opportunity to answer the questions of the respondents in case there are some items that they do not understand. However, it also has its disadvantage. According to scholars, there are not many types of surveys that can, be, that can use samples of individuals that are collected together as a group. Therefore, uh, de uh, designing your survey instrument is a bit challenge. Now, the second uh, way of collecting data is by web-based survey. You can do it using Google Forms or SurveyMonkey. In, in, in the case of my dissertation, I use the Google Form because I use the online methods of data gathering. Using web-based surveys or online surveys in your study has many advantages. One could be is that there are available software applications out there such as the SurveyMonkey or the Google Forms. These, these are free and it has greater convenience and at lower cost. It has a faster turnaround. Uh, you have available multimedia interface. You can just post the link of your questionnaire of your survey to your to the Facebook Messenger. You can send it through WhatsApp. You can send it through Viber, Skype, whatever. And of course, uh, its administration is mobile and the respondents can answer even if they are running on public transportation or uh, at, a time, at a time they are convenient, they can just click click their uh, mobile phones or tablets or laptops, then they can provide you the answer that you need in your study. Of course, it reduces data entry errors. Those of you who are using Google Forms, you know that automatically all the results will go into the Excel spreadsheet. However, online surveys and or web-based surveys has also its uh, share of disadvantages. One of that is lower response rates. Scholars have proven time and again that when you use the online survey it always has a lower response rate compared to paper surveys and erroneous data entry can also happen due to speedy responding facilitated by computers another method of collecting data is by mails by by mails we mean that we send the survey questionnaire through postal mails the advantages of sending your survey questionnaire through mails are Number one, it is inexpensive. 
Number two, it can be it can be accomplished by the researcher alone or with only a few assistants needed to accomplish the questionnaire. It also allows the researcher to have access to samples that might be hard to reach in person or by telephone. And it also permits the respondents to take sufficient time to give thoughtful answers to the questions that you ask in your survey questionnaires. However, collecting data by mails can be can have disadvantages and among these are there is less opportunity to encourage the cooperation of the respondents or to provide assistance in case the respondent will need to ask questions there is no one to answer them or it has the tendency to produce low response rate and it does not lend themselves well to obtaining information from certain types of sample. For example, uh, you want to collect data from small children who cannot read. Of course, you cannot use this method of data collection. Or you want to send the survey, you want to reach out those who cannot read and write. Of course, this is not applicable. Another way of collecting data is by telephone. Of course, you use the telephone to reach out your respondents and ask them, interview them regarding the, re the questions that you intend to ask. Of course, collecting data through telephone can be cheaper compared to personal interviews because you don't have to spend for transportation anymore. And it can be conducted fairly quickly. You just dial the number of the uh, desired respondent and then you can just ask the respondents with the questions that you need with the information that you need to gather and then it will also allow you as the researcher to assist the respondents in case they have questions about the information that you need from them it, will, it also permits a greater amount of follow-up and it also provide better coverage in certain areas where personal interviews are reluctant to go alternately collecting data through telephone methods has also its share of limitations one is that access to some samples is not possible of course for your prospect respondents who do not have uh, telephone lines either at home or in the office they cannot be accessed through this method of data collection another one is that you cannot observe the reactions, facial expressions, bodily gestures of your respondents in case you intend to ask some sensitive or personal questions. Remember that the facial expressions, the bodily gestures contribute a lot when you gather data. Another one is that telephone surveys are reported to result in a 5% lower response rate compared to when you do it using uh, personal interviews. Another method of collecting data in a survey research is doing interview. In here, you do personal face-to-face -face interview with your respondents. The positive side of doing interview is that it is most effective for enlisting the cooperation of your respondents. And you can establish rapport with your respondents before the actual interview or during the interview or even after the interview. And uh, you can also clarify the questions in case your respondents cannot understand what you intend, what is it that you really wanted to ask or what is the reason why you ask. It also allows you to follow up for some unclear or incomplete answers. And, of course, it places less of a burden on the reading and writing skills of the respondents. They don't have to read or write. They just have to answer. And you can use, of course, vernacular language. By the way, friends, it's very important that when you report in your uh, article or in your thesis uh, about doing interview, it's, imp it's good to mention the, the language that you use during the interview. So it, it puts transparency of the data collection that you conducted. Alternately, interviews can be costly compared to direct or telephone 
surveys or mail surveys. They also require a trained staff to conduct the interview. And the data collection time is lengthy compared to other forms of data collection. Another one is the lack of anonymity may result in less valid responses to personally sensitive questions because the, the respondents may fear that you as the researcher know them personally so they cannot open up. They are likely to not open up and not be honest with their answers to you. And also, some types of samples are often difficult to contact in sufficient numbers, especially the sensitive ones, such as the high individuals in high crime rate, workers in large corporations, students, then age pregnancy, HIV cases. They are difficult to reach in large number of samples. So in summary, we collect data in survey method by direct administration of survey questionnaires, by web-based survey, by mails, by telephones, and by personal interviews. Now let me bring you to, to the references that I have used in developing this video tutorial. Once again, this is Dr. Sara Namoko and I would like to thank you for taking time to learn from this video tutorial. Thank you and bye-bye!